It's no secret to anybody that both Matt and Jeff Hardy are still two of the biggest names in all of professional wrestling. They made another huge impact by walking into Ring of Honor this week and capturing the World Tag Team Championships from the Young Bucks. Everybody was already predicting their future. Everybody was already predicting the rest of their 2017 without putting any logic or thought behind it. Today on Off The Script, I'm going to go over everything about this week's situation, what it really means for Ring of Honor, and what it really means for the WWE. Fill your glasses up and put your headphones in, because it's time for Off The Script. And all you fucking goons and assholes, get in line. What is going on guys? JD from New York here. Thank you so much for tuning back into the channel on this Tuesday afternoon, March 7th, 2017. We're going to be talking Broken Matt and Jeff Hardy and their contract situation with Ring of Honor this week after capturing their World Tag Team Championships from the Young Bucks. Before we get into that guys, I want to thank everybody for showing up for my Monday Night Raw review. No matter how tired I was, I was fucking exhausted. I feel good today. I got a good eight hours of sleep last night. I feel good to go, and I'm going to work hard to give you guys great content all day long. So if you guys missed that, link will be in the annotation that you see on the screen right in front of you in the top right corner of the screen. Make sure you guys go and check that out. Monday Night Raw did a pretty decent job at setting the stage for their brand going into WrestleMania 33. So go check that out. Show it some love. It's live on the channel right now. I also want to show some love to Audible. Audible sponsoring this edition of Off The Script Extra. And everybody listening today, as always, is going to get 30 days free to try the service out. All you have to do is go through the sign-up process, and that includes one free audio book of your choice. All you got to do is go to www.audibletrial.com slash off the script. You're going to go through the sign-up process, and you're going to be granted one free audio book of your choice. Over 180,000 books to choose from. A lot of those are wrestling-related books, and no matter what genre you guys are interested in, more than likely, you're going to find it on Audible. That's audibletrial.com slash off the script, and no matter what you guys do with your 30-day subscription, if you guys want to cancel the service after signing up, you get to keep your audio book for free, compatible with iPhone and Android devices. Tweet me at JD from NY206. Tell me and show me what book you guys signed up for, and I'll automatically retweet you guys every single time. Once again, that's audibletrial.com/slash off the script. Thank you guys for showing love to Audible. Before we get into this news about Matt and Jeff Hardy. I want to clear the air here, man. I was very, very, very frustrated with the stupidity that was the wrestling community this week when this story broke, okay? A lot of people tried to instigate, and a, and a lot of people tried to start shit that really isn't there, okay? Everybody tweeting me, everybody going to Joe, everybody going to this one and that one. Oh, the Hardy sign to Ring of Honor. Oh, the Hardys are tag team champions. There goes them returning to the WWE. I've always stated and I've always felt 
that the stupidity from wrestling fans is some of the most ridiculous shit I've ever seen on planet Earth, man. I honestly think 95% of professional wrestling fans are fucking retarded. And I'm being perfectly honest with you. I, I really am. I don't care if you are there or not. I don't care if you were front row. I don't care if fucking Matt Hardy and came up to you and fucking had you touch the fucking tag team championships and had Matt Hardy delete you right there in front row. I, I don't care. I don't care what you've seen. I don't care where you were the night the Hardys won the tag team championships from the Young Bucks. For people who were there and for people to go to Joe and for people to just go all over Twitter and automatically say... The Hardys are done with WWE. They're in Ring of Honor. There goes their chances of them returning to WWE. There goes their chances of being at WrestleMania. That is sheer stupidity. A lot of people don't think. A lot of people don't take the pieces of the puzzle that happened prior to this happening this week and say, you know what? Maybe the Hardys are there because... They don't want to sit on their ass for a month while they're negotiating with WWE. They don't want their brand to get cold because it's still so hot, being that this is one of the biggest acts in all of professional wrestling. They want to keep their name out there. More importantly, they want to make money. They're hardworking guys. They want to make money while they're not in TNA any longer. For people to say to me, JD, you're a fucking asshole. They are signed. No shit, Sherlock. Of course they're signed. Why wouldn't they be? Do you think they would be winning the tag team championships in Ring of Honor if they weren't signed to a fucking contract? You think two guys can just walk into a company and win tag team gold without being contractually signed for money? How stupid can you fucking people be? And the expedition of gold. I don't know if you guys are fucking watching TNA or not. I know I'm not. But if you're following Matt Hardy on Twitter, it's very easy to see what their current storyline is for both of their characters. They travel around promotion to promotion and want to win tag team gold. One of the only championships they did not win is the Ring of Honor Tag Team Championships. So why not do that? Why not put that on the list? Before you go to WWE and win their tag team gold. Everybody wanted to be a fucking reporter. Everybody wanted to be some fucking Dave Meltzer wannabe. Because they were there at the Manhattan Center on 34th Street in New York City. With the Hardys making an unadvertised appearance winning tag team championships. Oh, they're signed. Their, their deal with WWE's done. Everybody that reported it's a fucking asshole. Really? So that makes you better than everybody else because you were there. Meanwhile, you had absolutely no news to follow that appearance. You thought they were signed. Joe even went on his fucking channel and I even texted him. I felt like his video, you know, really being frustrated with everybody was a, a, an attack against me. Because everybody thought they were signed. Of course they were fucking signed. That's not the issue people were talking about. Them being signed to Ring of Honor was never a fucking issue. At all. Of course they were signed. I am frustrated with the fact that people don't do research. People claim they were signed. Yes, they were signed. But what is to follow? Why are they signed? How long are they signed? Why don't you actually do some investigative work and figure out What's going on with this situation? Even Dave Meltzer himself doesn't know what's going on. You automatically want to take the fact that they're signed and jump fucking six steps ahead of everybody else. Oh, WrestleMania is out of the picture. WWE is out of the picture. Really now? Okay. So you guys see where I'm coming from and why I am frustrated with the sheer stupidity that is the professional wrestling fan on YouTube, on Twitter, in the community. Half of you are fucking idiots, okay? Everybody, and I don't mean this to the people watching me and who are subscribed to me and following me. This is a general consensus among anybody. The professional wrestling casual, the fucking, the, the, the fucking marks on here think they know everything. 
I don't know everything. I've been wrong a ton of times. But I'm not in this business. I'm not doing this to be right. I'm not doing this to be first. I'm not doing this to be better than anybody else. I do it because I love it. If it's wrong, it's wrong. If it's right, it's right. Everything I do is merely to get my opinion out to you guys. That's why I'm here. I'm not here to fucking report right news. I'm not here to fucking report that, oh, this guy's returning or I'm, you know, doing a Ryan Satin and doing investigative work about, you know, dirt sheets and fucking uncovering the dirt and getting the scoop first. I'm not here about that. I'd rather the story be right and then give you my opinion on it. Because I don't want to come on here and report false news. And everything I always say, I always say, please, do not take this seriously. Do not take it to the grave. Take it with a pinch of salt. I always, always, always say that. And I always cite my sources before I go on and record anything. Okay? This never comes from me. It always comes from somewhere else. Yet you're here to blame me if the news is wrong. But you guys don't listen. You guys don't hear the sources that I cite. Oh, JD was wrong about everything. Oh, this and that. Get the fuck out of here. Seriously. Shut your fucking mouth and come and watch the video because you're here for me. Not because if it's right or wrong or this or that. You're here for me. You're not here for... You know, me being wrong and me being right. You want to know my thoughts on everything. And that's why you're here. Now, according to Wrestling News World and their website, Richard Gray, the Matt Hardy situation over the weekend had a lot of people jumping to conclusions very early. Because the Hardy Boys appearance and the title win in Ring of Honor either assumed that they were staying with Ring of Honor and they weren't going to WWE and that the Hardys were there long term. Everybody thought this. Everybody jumped to conclusions. WWE's out of the picture. Not only is this not true, Matt and Jeff also have clauses in their Ring of Honor contract that if they want out early, they have the ability to leave. Here is the real latest on the Hardys. WWE is very close to coming to terms with both Jeff and Matt Hardy to start up with them as soon as they are available. Money hasn't been 100% agreed to yet, and that aspect is still being worked on. As well as how thorough their schedules will be, neither would be working the traditional full-time WWE schedule. All parties are close enough to a deal that while negotiations are finishing up, Jeff and Matt are starting drug testing, medical screenings, physicals, etc. this week, as WWE's whole medical clearance process can take a while, and neither side wants to waste any time as WWE wants both Matt and Jeff starting ASAP. Now, this doesn't mean that the deal can't fall apart either over contractual negotiations, not reaching the finish line, or there being a snag or something caught in the medical screenings. However, right now, both WWE and the Hardys are operating under the impression a deal will get done, and they will be coming in as soon as they fulfill their other obligations. That is the latest on the Hardys. Everybody wanted to jump to conclusions. They are doing their expedition of gold. They want tag team gold from all around the world. They want this and Ring of Honor and the Young Bucks were gracious enough to allow this to happen because the Hardys have a storyline within their own characters, within their own universe about them traveling to promotion to promotion and winning tag team championships in every promotion that they step foot in. They will not be able to do this in WWE. They would not be able to win the Ring of Honor Tag Team Championships if they were in WWE. They wanted to get it done now because I don't know if you guys realized all the fucking idiots who were at the Manhattan Center who jumped to conclusions about Matt and Jeff not coming to the WWE anymore. Uh, I don't know. Uh, as far as I know, I'm going to Orlando. As far as I know, everybody's excited about this event called Super Card of Honor where the Hardys are challenging... The Young Bucks and the Tag Team Championships are on the line. The Young Bucks and Ring of Honor thought, you know what, let's do this. I think it's exciting. It makes a nice little storyline for the month going into Supercard of Honor. The Hardys won the Tag Team Championships in New York City. 
Don't you think that going down to Orlando or Lakeland, Florida, wherever this event's taking place, that the Hardys are not going to lose the tag team championships to the Young Bucks and that the Young Bucks are going to have another tag team title reign? Of course they are. They're going into Lakeland, Florida as champions. They're going to drop the tag team championships to the Young Bucks and their expedition of gold will then take them to the WWE. Nobody thought about that when they were attacking Joe and when they were attacking me. They're signed. Shut the fuck up. Of course they're signed. They're signed for the month. They have to be signed if the tag team championships, you know, uh, you know, are in order for Ring of Honor. So clearly they won the belts to lose them back to the Young Bucks, to continue their storyline, to continue their brand, so that they can go to the WWE and win the Tag Team Championships on either Raw or SmackDown. How stupid can you fucking casual internet wrestling fans be? Of course they're signed. They're signed for the month. They will be in WWE, whether it's at WrestleMania, on Raw, on SmackDown. They will be broken. And WWE will have the hottest gimmick in all of professional wrestling. What, what they do with it remains to be seen. But the Hardys will be in the WWE. There's no reason for WWE not to offer these guys contracts. There's no reason for the Hardys not to go to WWE at this, at this stage of the career. Because the money potential that they're going to make is going to be astronomical. The machine that is WWE will make so much fucking money off these guys that I guarantee both Broken Hardys and or both bro Broken Matt Hardy and Jeff Hardy are going to be the top sellers for merchandise in WWE at the end of the year. This would be stupid, a stupid decision for them not to go to WWE. Now I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from and the frustration that I felt this week by everybody telling me, oh well, your, your news is not really credible. Who the fuck are you to say that they're not signed? Of course they're signed, you fucking retard. They have to be signed to work in a promotion. They are signed for the month. They will drop the titles to the Young Bucks and they will be in the WWE. And I hope this report, everybody doesn't take it seriously as if JD reported it. Wrestling News World and Richard Gray exclusively reported it. That's the latest on the Hardys. And when you see them show up in WWE, I want you to remember this video. Oh, look at that. JD was right again. Okay? So take that, shove it up your ass, and next time you guys want to attack me and ask me fucking retarded questions on Twitter, you're going to be met with, met with a nice benching. Because I can't stand stupidity. Stupidity is contagious. Simple as that. The Hardys will be in WWE. Down in Lakeland, Florida on April 1st, the Young Bucks will regain their tag team championships. Simple as that. I hope I opened your fucking eyes. I hope, uh, I hope I made sense and I hope, hope I made logic of everything. And if you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. Thank you guys for... Everything you do here, and I will see you guys tonight for SmackDown Live. So hopefully we have a great show tonight with AJ Styles and Randy Orton, the main event. Monday Night Raw did a decent job at building their brand for WrestleMania, and I'm excited to see what SmackDown has next uh, this week as they head towards WrestleMania 33. I'm JD, hit that thumbs up, and I will see you guys tonight for SmackDown Live. I'll talk to you later.